bring it up, put out is James Stewart going a little wide there. Ricky has a much better line in that turn, though. He set him up right on the rear fender. Carmichael has his points and Bubba has his. Yeah, James is, you know what, he re he's, he's got the ability to, to raise his game, and he raised it. Come on, Carmichael, that's what they're cheering. They are getting loud on the sidelines, or are they cheering for Bubba? Nice Bubba move. gets past. Ricky takes over the lead downhill one more time, but there goes Bubba, his fast section. Oh! oh! Lands on the back of Carmichael. Oh. Carmichael says, what are you doing? James oh, was out. He was out. Bubba landed in the back of Carmichael. That's a case of two lines converging there. And it looks like Kevin Winham's going to take the lead, but more importantly is losing two spots to James Stewart and Ricky Carmichael. There are those who would say it might have happened anyway, but Chad Reed tipping over makes it a lot easier for Stewart. Here comes Carmichael, and these two have resumed their battle this time for the lead, and apparently both pretty much, if not at, 100%. Well, here we go again. If you're not smiling right now, you're not a motocross fan because this is what it's all about. The gap behind them tells the story. These two are the class of the field when they're both running at full tilt. And so James Stewart and Ricky Carmichael, as Carmichael goes inside, can't quite get close enough to make the pass. Stewart is there. Carmichael right behind him. And yes, if you're a motocross fan, you're smiling right now. And if you look close, you'll see smiles on the faces of the fans around the fences here. Carmichael goes outside, crosses back in with a great drive up the hill. They flatten it out side by side, little kickouts there. And here they come in tandem. James Stewart with Ricky Carmichael right behind him. Inside goes Carmichael again to take the lead, but not for long. And he does it again side by side. Pushes Stewart out off the edge of the track. And Ricky Carmichael takes advantage by a couple of bike lengths. You know this is not over. Well, Ricky's been definitely forcing the issue. Any, anytime these two get together, he doesn't waste a lot of time. He, he gets in there. If he's got to bump him, he did it at Bud's Creek. Uh, he'll, just, he'll just shove you out of the way. Yeah, that's it, it, how he gets around you now. And the rain has subsided for the time being. So the track, whatever. Oh! Stewart turns the favor right back, comes in and blasts Carmichael to take the lead. Oh, snap. Now, how angry is Ricky Carmichael right now? He's been doing that to James all year. I think James just finally said, hey. The AMA Toyota Motocross Championship by FMF. This is what they had in mind when they put the season together. James Stewart and Ricky Carmichael going after each other. Hammer and tong, as our British colleagues would like to say, and Carmichael trying to find another way around. Now, they've both exchanged sort of uh, rabbit punches, if you will. Now let's see if the real knockout, if either one can deliver it. Well, Ricky pushed him off the track. There wasn't a whole lot of contact there, but he, he definitely didn't leave him any room. And James went off the track, had to go around a jump. And when James came back, he, he ran straight into Ricky. He shoved him right completely off the track, so. Now Carmichael just took the lead again in a very gentlemanly pass by comparison. So apparently the, uh, the hostilities have subsided somewhat, at least, with an exchange of block passes. Carmichael now with the advantage, and Stewart trying to find a way back around. Well, these two, for the most part, they'll race clean together. They're, they're not going to, uh, there's no bitterness there between the two of them, but they both really want to win, and if there's only a little bit of room to make a pass, uh, these guys are going to take it. They're going to open that gap up. You better have a chest protector on it. You will just be welted up. James Stewart getting close to Carmichael once again as they work the track here at Washougal after a little rain shower. Yes, there's some mud covering both rider and machine. Stewart almost a little short on that last jump, but made it look like he meant to do that. Can you see how fast these guys are going through these turns? They're just dropping into these ruts, leaned completely over flat and pinning it. This pace they've got going right now is ridiculous. Well, it's easy to tell how much faster they are than everyone else. Do you see anyone else on the same lap? No. I, I would be interesting to be a fly on the wall at their uh, little team meetings and see what Ricky's strategy is. You know, it's it's got to be just, hey, get to the front as fast as you can and haul butt because James is going to be right there. Fans who lean over the fences every week at places like Washougal want to see good racing like this. Pass and repass between Ricky Carmichael and James Stewart. In the end, Carmichael prevails. Oh, Ricky's waving him up. I wonder what this is all about. 
Well, it looks like some good sportsmanship in the end, and they'll race again in moto number two. But he's out in front, and Ricky having some difficulty. Oh, he's uh, on him. Yeah, closing the gap, but he's gotten it done now. So that speed that Carmichael possesses when he needs it is very much in evidence once again. I didn't think he'd be able to close that much time on James, but uh, he found some speed somewhere. Well, when you've got that carrot sticking out there in front of you, you're going to whip yourself into shape here. As Carmichael has closed the gap on to James Stewart here. Carmichael pushing hard. Stewart with the speed. And the battle resumes. And this is for the overall. Both of these guys uh, know that. James certainly knows that he caught it made up all that distance on him, but he doesn't want to let this go either. Oh, and right in front of the mechanic signal area, Ricky Carmichael shows Goose that he can get it done as he goes past James Stewart now. Indeed, 1-1 one, one for Carmichael will give him the overall, but a 2-1 one, a one for James Stewart would give the number seven rider that overall win. Carmichael in front right now with Stewart trying to figure out a way to get back around him. These two had such a good battle in moto number one. Certainly, Stewart will have learned something. Carmichael getting a little bit better breaks in traffic. Let's see if it happens again. And that's partly why Carmichael must have gone by. James Stewart pushing him hard once again. Well, Ricky looks like he's swapping all over the place here. I don't know if it's getting slippery out there, if he's just pushing that hard. But he's been going sideways more than he's been going straight this last lap. Sideways again. On the uphill section here, James Stewart right behind him trying to capitalize. They go side by side over the jump. The next turn's a left-hander. Stewart can't make it work. That was the Bubba scrub right there, in case you were wondering. James didn't even get any air off that jump, and he hit it faster than Ricky did. Somehow Carmichael managed to stay in front of him. Stewart's going to have to work him again, find a turn, plan a couple of spots, a couple of turns ahead of that, see if he can make a move. I think he was signaling to that lap rider to get the heck out of the way. Well, whatever happened, it worked. Oh! oh! An epic get-off by Ricky Carmichael, who's on his feet before the bike stops moving. And now the question is, no, it is not still running. He did, the bike did stall, but he gets it running pretty quickly. Sometimes Ricky Carmichael has the luck of the Irish, doesn't he? Look at this. Oh, that looked like freestyle. He's like a yard dart. So the final lap now for James Stewart and the checkered flag. He gets handed a certain amount of good fortune, but a lot of us, including me, are going to say that James Stewart had him covered here in Moto2.